shoulders of many people throughout the history of our country who have done just what we're doing is where we are the people and we are part of our, our government and we're doing that today we're, we're getting to work yes we are and we're gonna keep it up this is just day one I keep saying and we have four years ahead of us we know there'll be lots of challenges but the, sh the showing today with I think there were between four and five hundred people out here walking in the fog it was amazing Oh, 
My name is Julie, and I'm here in Sheboygan on Saturday for the uh, Million Women March. And in uh, spite of the foggy, uh, damp weather, which is unbelievably warm today, by the way, um, <laughs> um, I'm just here because I'm very concerned about the uh, message that um, President Trump gave um, out that he was going to be a president for the people. And yet, when I'm paying attention to who he is um, choosing for his cabinet to administrate his presidency, most of those people, in my opinion, do not seem to represent the average middle class person's interests. Um, so I encourage everyone to stay involved. Um, and um, even people that um, voted for Trump, um, stay involved and make sure that he delivers on the promises that he made to you, which um, is apparently, I'm sure, why you voted for him. So um, make him stay on task and make him be the president for the people that he promised he would be during the campaign. And hopefully his rhetoric will to tone down now that he is representing all of us. Thanks. God bless America.
Lindsay Verhe from Sheboygan. I have a daughter marching in Washington, D.C., and another daughter marching in San Francisco. And I am here in support of women everywhere. I'm here to help protect all of the environmental regulations and civil rights and personal rights that have been installed in our democracy in the last 70 years that now are at risk. I am here for equality for all, for women everywhere, for the environment, and to uphold and show that we do support our democracy. Thank you. Thank you for all of the people all around the world that are marching together in support of each other. I'm Emily. And I'm Alex. And this is Ponch. <laughs> and I've lived in Sheboygan about five years. And I've lived here for four months. And I think that we just saw it was really important to come out today because we knew what a low voter turnout Sheboygan had. And we also know that a majority of people voted for Trump. So I think that we just wanted to show that we don't want Trump to be our president and we don't support any of his policies. And that we stand in solidarity with everybody else who's marching through. Definitely. I got more than 11,000 votes. That just wowed me. 
I'm here today. Um, I didn't know what to expect because you just don't know. But I, I think we had at least 300 with a big That's incredible. That's incredible. A lot of people are angry. I'm here personally because I've been opposed to the Trump administration from the very beginning. He's not an articulate man. He's not an inclusive. He doesn't show compassion. Um, his speech yesterday, I heard it. I, I don't know where he gets this word cartage. That's not the Wisconsin I know. That's not the American I know. That's not the, the land my children are growing up in. I have a much more hopeful vision. And I, I want a president who has a much more hopeful vision for what America can be. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. One more point I want to make. On the New York Times today, this morning, there was a picture of another parade, another inaugural protest that happened 103 years ago. In 1913, women suffragists marched down the streets in protest of President Woodrow Wilson. There were something like 8,000 supporters for them. They marched down the streets for the votes. They were spit upon. They were harmed. People threw rocks at them, but they didn't give up. They finished the parade, and then they went to the hospital. We're part of history today. I am so proud to be part of history today. The arc of the moral world bends toward justice, and I'm proud to be part of that.